Welcome to the Christopher Jimenez Show. This is episode number 23 of the podcast. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at CJMNZ8. Thank you so much for listening. A big welcome back to the podcast. I, uh, I have taken quite a while off, uh, not uh, recording podcasts or pushing them out there. I apologize for that. Those uh, five or six of you who actually uh, subscribe to this podcast and listen faithfully, I thank you very much. Um, it's been quite a week. In fact, we did something this week that we haven't done for a while. I forget which episode uh, you can uh, listen or to uh, me recount this occurrence, but one time we did run two 5Ks in one day. We didn't quite do that this time. We actually ran two 5Ks in one week. Uh, last Sunday we ran the zoo run at the Miami Metro Zoo. and or Actually, it's not called the Miami Metro Zoo anymore. I think it's called Zoo Miami. So the zoo run at Zoo Miami. And then today, this morning, in fact, we ran the Miami Children's Hospital 5K uh, over uh, down by the Biltmore um, here in Miami and Coral Gables. Um, both runs were very fun. It was a very fun family-type atmosphere. Um, the, the first one, of course, running through the zoo and seeing all the animals. The second one, uh, just running around a beautiful, a beautiful city, a beautiful uh, golf course, and um, you know, just having fun getting out there. You know, um, it's our first time, uh, my wife's first time running uh, while pregnant and running an actual event. Um, it was uh, the zoo run, I should say. Um, we had a bit of a tough time at it. I, I had a tough time as well. It rained in the morning, and then as a result, when the sun came up, uh, you know what happens. The uh, humidity just kind of just skyrockets, and, and it becomes really, really hard to, to run or, or do anything outside, for that matter, especially here in Miami, but I'm sure anywhere you are, it's difficult. Um, so as a result, this 5K this morning was actually much better. We... Uh, we shaved about six minutes off the time that we uh, that it took us uh, for the zoo run. Now, of course, we didn't push ourselves uh, too hard. I didn't want anything to happen. I didn't want her to feel sick um, as a result of you know running around with a baby in her stomach. It's uh, over a pound now, um, our little baby girl, and we're really excited about her coming. Um, but we had a lot of fun there. Um, what else has happened in the meantime, you might ask? Well, I'm in my final semester of library school. I'm interning at Special Collections with the Florida International University Green Library, having a lot of fun uh, uh, cataloging uh, a certain uh, donation of archival materials um, having to do with Florida, specifically Cedar Key. Um, I am also taking a young adult literature course, um, which uh, I thought was going to be a bit easier than it turns out it is. I'm going to have to read a whole bunch of books and write a whole bunch of reviews, so uh, you can stay tuned for that. Speaking of book reviews, I have been swamped over the past couple of months with books just coming in, people wanting me to read their book and review it. Um, I have read a few and posted a few reviews. In fact, I'm going to run through a little list here of all the reviews I've written. And if you're interested in, in knowing about any of these books, please feel free to go to my blog and read about them. Um, First, coming from the WeTalkOfHolyThings.com blog, uh, I have Death by Living and Notes from the Tilt World from N.D. Wilson. Um, it, he actually, um, I, I received Death by Living and it was part of a blog tour that I was supposed to write and post a blog, uh, a blog entry by August the 30th. Um, I, when I agreed uh, to do that, they actually included Notes from a Tilt World as well. Notes from the Tilt World is his first, uh, uh, writing uh, his first book, and then the sequel is Death by Living. Uh, again, that's N. D. Wilson. Check that out on the blog. Um, I also came, uh, finally brought myself to to read The Problem of Pain by C. S. Lewis. Now, uh, this is a classic book. Uh, most every uh, Christian will tell you this is a, a must read, and I, I definitely would join the chorus and state that this book, The Problem of Pain, is a must read. You must read this book if you have any doubts or any any questions about pain and, and where pain uh, plays a role in, in this world, in this life, uh, especially in the Christian life. Um, 
you must pick that up. Uh, definitely check out my review there. And then, of course, uh, we have Unfinished by uh, Richard Stearns. If you remember, I, uh, I read and reviewed his book, The Hole in Our Gospel. And this is his follow-up book uh, to that first attempt, um, which is it's an excellent book. I, I, I definitely recommend it. Uh, of course, read my, uh, my review on We Talk of Holy Things in order to, uh, to get the full impression of, of what that book is about. Moving over to my, my other blog, my actual library science blog, go away readbooks.blogspot.com. Um, I read over the summer the a book that has actually been sitting in my library, my personal library. It's entitled Library: An Unquiet History, written by Matthew Battles. It's a, a very interesting, uh, uh, interesting piece. It goes over the uh, the history of libraries and librarianship, particularly through the lens of uh, a biblioclasm. But read my again read my uh, book review at goawayreadbooks.blogspot.com for that and then of course uh, my most recent post i believe is uh, map the map of time uh, book review um, of felix palma's uh, work is his first work that has been translated into english very good book uh, so this is an, an example of my young adult literature class which is having me read 25 books this this semester and writing out a review of them. Um, this review uh, changes the format a bit. It's uh, I'm following my professor's lead here. Um, you can expect to see many reviews ahead of young adult literature on this blog. So if you uh, if you're interested in YA literature and uh, want to take a you know peek at what they're teaching the the new library students, you can go ahead and follow my blog. Go away readbooks.blogspot.com and and you'll see that. As you could probably tell, my podcast has taken a little bit of a transformation. I have added some intro and outro music as uh, I'm not sure if you recall but a, an early podcast mentioned that I was in talks with Positive Infinity to create that and they finally uh, uh, well I finally posted the, the music up. They've had it you know they've given it to me for months months back but uh, of course as you can tell I'm getting back into the swing of things. Um, they are a local band local to Miami, Florida. They are put uh, produced by Paralandra Records. They uh, they recently had a new album out. It's entitled Circuit. You can find that music at paralandrarecords.com. Um, you can also follow Paralandra Records on uh, Twitter, Paralandra R C R D S. That's short for Records. You can also follow Positive Infinity at Positive. Actually, no, at P Infinity Music. Their uh, music is a chiptune, jazzy, bluesy fusion, um, making music with their Game Boy electronics. A big thank you to Positive Infinity for putting that together. Remember, you can follow me on Twitter at CJMNZ8. Thank you so much for listening.